A Technal Knight is pretty good to get on Ambassador. I like Knight more than Refiner or Skull. Well, Nerubian follows the Knight. Although Elise is super powerful, I think I'm gonna go with Anubarak. Hmm. None of this works with this. Fell Stomper is pretty okay. I feel like with the two end of four that we got, we just couldn't justify picking Greta. It doesn't make any sense. Or they just pick Greta and go infinite pirates anyways. I feel like the best games on Ambassador are the ones where uh, you're a little bit calculated about what you want to do. Isn't that the case? Hi there, Gloopless Thank you so much for the nice words. Today is gonna be big, okay? Today is gonna be big. Fuck, the, the camera goes red again. Wait, I'll let in some light. Give me a sec. It's sometimes difficult to control your camera. Skull goes well with the knight. Hmm. Maybe I should have let that one cook longer. But Corpse Refiner plus Yorat is actually legit. The only problem with this is that you don't have a taunt to back it up. You're not scaling two knights with this, but forcing the roll to try to scale two knights is just bad. Uh gift it's up redeemed. One moment, please. Well, so it's a 50 50. Yes! Nice. That's a nice way to tie. That was a pretty huge 50 50. How did it go? Oh, light. We could have frozen the mug. I don't know. Hitting second at Technolite, second Seorite, second Skull, or second Refiner. All are better options than the mug. But the mug was not bad. But I don't want to freeze the card just because it's not a bad freeze. You get me? There you go. Beat them down like, like now I can just buy the mug. I'm tired of this card. Last game I probably should have went for it, I don't know. I feel like the pathway that I pursued could have been better. That's it. Keep going. You're doing great. Okay. Nah. I'm still happy to take the win against Gallywigs. Nerubian is pretty solid. Well done. <laughs> Can sell refiner for Nerubian. I like minions that summon minions. So I'm kind of uh, happy with my board currently. Is it better to fast level with this hero or be mindful of what comes next? Uh, be mindful. Also, you should be mindful of like how good the 4 and the 6 are. For example, for Fell Stomper, I could go 5-6. Yes. If I fight the right opponent. Uh, if this was a Naga lobby and I had Orgozoa, I would try my absolute best to curve out into getting Orgozoa ASAP. But let's say you have a queen out of your hero power. You wouldn't like turbo rush for the queen, right? So you have to take into context your health, your next opponents, the lobby, the minion you have, and then uh, figure out on the spot. There's no like formula. Smetira with the 18 months, thank you. But usually the faster, the better. But again, it's not like uh, one way or another. We're actually fighting Milhouse on a turn where he's not super overpowered. He's still probably stronger than me by a bit, but I think I can uh, 
still win. I mean, I'm tempted to go 5-6 because Fell Stomper, the more I wait with it, the more the more weak it becomes. Also, I had a good fight. The question is on 6, do I ever pivot to something else? I mean, I'm still probably looking for Eternal Summoner. Eternal Summoner works really well with this, works really well with this, and works really well with the Stomper itself. We could also just go for Gas Coiler and play Stomper Gas Coiler for a bit. By the way, I think they should revert the Stomper nerf. Card is not as dominant as it was uh, when it was released. Or at least give him some more stats or something, I don't know. It was such a fun card, and now you almost never see it anymore. I'd rather have Stomper be powerful than have... Um, what's his name? Ghoul of the Feast be powerful. Don't get me wrong, I like Ghoul of the Feast, but Stomper just feels cleaner and sharper. Yeah, Ghoul of the Feast is a little bit too good for a free drop. And this guy is a little bit weak for a 6 drop. I mean, he's not necessarily weak. He's strong on the early turns, gets weaker later. So I wouldn't say he's like always weak or unplayable. I've got to clean up in here. Wouldn't want to start a grease fire, would we? Wow. This guy is going for similar combo as me. Also, this hero gets like really dangerous if they get their hands on a Technal Summoner. It's one of the main ways you can play Undead currently. Ouch! That's a big hit. That's a shop. I think you don't level now. And next time you level and uh, rattler the fell stomper. I mean, we don't even need to rattler the fell stomper, you know. We don't need to rattler the fell stomper. We could keep the rattler for the coiler. That's it. Keep going. You're doing great. We're farming pretty well. Poor guy had no shot. How is everybody playing undead? Good question. I feel like there are some lobbies where just everybody plays similar things. That one looks a little tough to me. Tiotar again? <laughs> yeah, he's not a Tiotar lobby. I don't know if you want another Anub. I kind of like cutting the knight to guarantee the reborn on the Anub. You got it, chef. Only the best ingredients from here on out. I can try to all in to kill the house. Yeah, another Anubarak makes us weaker. I don't know what your secret ingredient is, but it's working. This is gonna be an easy win, but my issue is that maybe we don't get the guy to trigger. Okay, he did. Nice! Trigger twice. OP. I mean, now we look for Eternal Summoner, Coiler, Triple Stomper. Thank you, Alex, for the 10 months! Thank you so much. I just died from 41 health. This meta blows. I feel like the problem with this metagame is that people die from this much health. I don't know if it means the metagame is bad. You think it does? I don't want second splitter. Ooh, shit. Oh my god. That's a high roll. Let's buff the horse. Not again. I don't want the sister. Sister is so bad here. I mean, Tiwatar could work, but it's a little bit weird. Sister is terrible, guys. Terrible minion. 
Quelag is much better. Colossus is much better. You know what Sister is good for? Sister is good to be sold. I'm gonna sell my sister for one gold. Maybe you cut a stomper. Let him keep going. You're doing great. Mm. Can I get the yellow opponent? There you go. Beat them down like Moti. The game wants me to play Teotar. For justice, practice makes perfect. I want to buff this guy a little bit. <laughs> Sister is gonna go for Koyla at some point. Trust. Oh, somebody get him turn with sunglasses. Guys, we need a win. I had two really bad games today. We need a win. Um. Yeah, I was worried I wouldn't have the board space to summon. Dude, what the fuck is happening? Bro! For real, you kidding me, mate? One battle done. Now, get on your apron and cook up a strategy. I don't think I want another scene runner. Yeah, we don't need a sister anymore. Where the hell is that 4-drop? Wait, what 4-drop do I need? This one? Handless Forsaken or what? I want another Eternal Summoner. And I want another Colossus. And Reborn on Coiler. And I'm good. Maybe selling the Fell Stomper made me a little bit uh, too aggro right now. I still focus mostly on Undead because I feel like the Reborn Anubarak is the key to my win. Maybe a Titus wouldn't be that bad, but it's already like a little bit late, right? It's already a little late. Number one, huh? Nice work. I should still win, I have so much attack. My guy is summoning a lot of minions that summon minions and that's frustrating. Like come on bro, I'm the guy who summons stuff.
He managed to find a way to not die. Yeah, he literally summoned a full undead comp out of his shenanigans. Oh my god, I'm fighting Gallywix. That's not good, like, nobody dying is a bad sign. It's really bad if nobody's dying. I don't want Sindor right now. And I don't want to get Sindor right now for, like, later. I want the Rattler. Rattler is really good. But I need board space. How do I make board space? Okay, I can kick something and play Queen. Either Colossus or Horse. Soul Splitter gives me another Nerubian King. Horse is probably the weakest. Fuck the horse. Metaphorically speaking. Don't fuck a horse. Uh what? Am I afraid of Teron? Should I freeze the Sindori? I guess we should freeze because... Mm, if we fight another undead player, I feel like Sindori can be super powerful. I like Soul Splitter because it's a very powerful reborn and it also buffs the Anubarak in a very powerful way. I just want it. I hope he Zap attacks first. Actually, this is fine, but I'm gonna lose my Coiler. Wow, I got another uh, Eternal. That's game. I'm so happy to see big Murlocs, like, yes, please. It's easy as hell matchup for me. Big Murlocs like a free win. I'm fighting the Teron. I don't even know if I need Sindori. One guy is dragons. Against them, they will. We, we need the queen. So let's go vigilant. And one guy is the comp that we played against before. You need to know your opponent's shot. I feel like we can just replace the soul splitter, but. Maybe we just cut Soul Splitter, cut Nerub, and just go Colossus and something else. Against Varden, if we are to fight Varden, this is one of the endgame spots RDO has been struggling at. Number one, huh? nice work. Yeah, I'm trying to be a bit more careful at what the lobby is doing and counter appropriately. I feel like the last two games I played today, or the first two games I played today, I struggled mid-game. Not uh, late. Hey, at least we're growing the Eternal Knight. Eternal Knight is nice because Anubara grows it and then it also grows itself. It's perfect, it's just so much stats. Okay, Rafam somehow managed to kill Varden. Against Rafam, I don't know if we want to go for like Queen. I mean, you could. I'll cut Splitter. I want to town both Queens. Taunted Queens and Colossus sounds fun. Because we also have a lot of different archetypes. We have Undead, uh, Demon and Beast. He's countering Undead with uh, the Sindori. I mean, I don't think he's gonna keep double Sindori against Varden. I think he had to change his composition slightly. I want to split the queens and just go like this. I want to try to go for another Eternal Summoner and for Triple Colossus. Gas Coiler protected, Fell Stomper protected. This looks fine. 
It's an interesting board. Hopefully we get the Rafam. I think I'm well teched against him. I'm teched out. He has Golden Cinderite that he put later. He doesn't open on Cinderite after I bought the Queens. When last time he opened it when I didn't have protection. Mmm. Smells a little bit saucy. But no comment. Wait, saying that he smells a bit saucy is already a comment. Come on, Fell Stone Pog, you need to do something as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Motherfucker! We lost to this fucking garbage dragon. And he's perfect positioning against my lineup. something stronger than that which one's right for you I'll give you a hard to find something stronger than that I know I got weaker. I know. I'm not even sure if Magma Lock is, is better than Sister. Get fucking wrecked. Get fucking wrecked. Please tell me I still win this. With those hits, we win. Or do we? Still pretty close, he has a lot of summons. Fucking Gust Coiler is OP. We summon a trash. Dude, what was this? Oh! Clown Fiesta of a game. I'm pretty sure he stream sniped with how he positioned the last fight, but it doesn't matter, we still won. Sorry for the anger, I definitely made the bad play and got myself weaker. Did I get lucky? I did get lucky last fight, but if the guy wouldn't stream snipe, I'm sure I would have uh, won the fight before. Dude, I don't know. Like, I didn't have any queen, and then he moves his Cinderai, and then not only that, but also opens on Scallywag. Which is like the best opener you can have against queen. Either he's like a fucking battleground genius, or a dirty stream sniper. No in between. I'm not saying he stream sniped, like, I'm saying he's either a battleground genius, or a dirty, sloppy, 